Uh, and, um, I am supposed to do a news type thing with you this evening. Apparently to cover some of the more important and relevant events on your world. What is that? It's a Cybermat. I do not have an orgasming hippo, so I have this instead. Huh. Are you, you intending to make that orgasm as well? No. Uh, well, that, that seems rather unfair. I, I would appreciate that. But, You'd right. think so, but You'd no. You'd think so, yes. Yeah. All right. You know, this, this, this thing is, is rather stupid. I know, Nash never seems to have this working right. I know! What a twit. All right. Um, <clears throat> Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs and finds all sorts of horrible things to bring back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? So, um... Let us see what we shall see. Um, all right, where is the relevant? Oh, well, this, this looks interesting, like a, um, a human interest story, as it were. Um, let, let me uh, send you the link to it. Um, apparently is, yes, this, this here is, um, celebration of this, this event you recently had called Easter, and it's, um, crucifixion corn dogs are real and just the right amount of wrong. Um, let's see, apparently, citing the Catholic doctrine of transubstantiation and fasting before the Eucharist as inspiration for the recipe, the food for the thoughtless blogger mused that his crucifixion dogs would be more substantial than a communion rake wafer and more delicious too, but that, given the nature of hot dogs, you still won't be certain from which part of the body they came. If Nash was here, he would say that this was sacrilegious. And I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. That's okay, you don't have to get it. Okay. So furthermore, what's furthermore, what's most interesting of all, is that they took the time to put a frowny face on the little Jesus. Well, I, I would be frowning a bit too if, if I were splayed out on some sort of corn confection thing. What is a corn dog? It is a piece of meat, or rather some kind of meat byproduct, wrapped around by a breaded crust thing and then put on a stick and you eat it. Your god demands weird sacrifices. I know I don't get it myself, but I'm sure there's something in Deuteronomy that explains this. I, I shall have to look that up. What's a Deuteronomy? It's about 180 pounds. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um... Oh yes, this is the April Fool's celebration that you are, you are having tonight. Um, oh my yes. Gator County DJ suspended after April Fool's joke about unsafe water. Uh, two longtime DJs at Gator County 101.9, who perpetrated a hoax this morning involving Lee County water quality, have been suspended indefinitely. Tony Renda, General Manager at the Bonita Springs County Music Station, Country Music Station, what is it? Uh, said he immediately pulled Val St. John and Scott Fish off the air when he heard about the April Fool's joke they'd been playing on their 5 to 9 a.m. morning show and started having the joke recanted and apology issued. Um, what was this joke? The radio station's joke involved that dihydrogen monoxide was coming out of county residents' taps Brenda said that dihydrogen monoxide is water, despite that, he said, we have a responsibility to our listeners. So, I'm sorry, 
they, they didn't, your, your, your people did not understand basic chemistry, so everyone got sad. Yes. Oh, you've gotten all pixelated and weird. But, no, I, uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll turn off the feed, hey. hopefully that will help. But uh, yes, unfortunately, one thing about our species is that many of them are very stupid. I'm getting that, yes. And in this case, what actually this reminds me of is a show that uh, two comedians and magicians do called BS, wherein they wish to prove that if you, uh, to, to make a long story short, they wanted to get people to uh, associate with a cause and sign a petition to get rid of dihydrogen monoxide in water. Yes, Penn and Teller, the chat people are talking about. And yes, people don't realize just the actual names for things because they were probably not very good in school. If you're not going to get down the basic chemistry things, how can we be expected to do, you know, anything? That'd be... Next you'll be telling me you just do things with chemicals really nearly without even knowing what they're called. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, yes. You're scaring me. I have that effect on people. <clears throat> All right, I'm, I'm okay. Well, even though I, I'm trying to understand the humor in panicking a city with a radio broadcast. Oh, the humor is less about the panic and more about the people uh, reacting to it and kind of playing off the stupidity of people. Or in this case, trying to make something, uh, uh, make people believe that something is wrong, but then they have to actually stop and think about it. In, the, in reality, they wish to encourage people to think. Unfortunately, the synapses just don't quite fire correctly. I'm blaming this more on people than on the radio show host, mostly because this is funny. At least it is to me. But then again, I'm a horrible person. So you're saying the point is to attempt to make them think, but if they flee in terror and panic, scurrying around like so many tiny, tiny ants on one big blue-green bulb, that this is so much more amusing. I get that. I get that. I get, yes. This, this I get. I get that. Well, let's see what else we have here. Um, uh, this is something to do with your shopping. Um, it comes from a place called Sears. Uh, police respond to alarm and find customers locked inside Sears outlet store after closing time. Um, this is from Michigan, and uh, when police responded to an alarm call at a store, it's often because someone is breaking in. This week they found themselves having to help customers get out. They were locked inside a closed Sears outlet store. Um, it was people. Police say a couple was found inside the store with their baby. When they went to leave the store, they discovered the doors were locked and the employees were all gone. Um. Why? Don't, don't they... I, I thought the point of a store was to take the currency and then get rid of the people. Well, sort of. They want the people in the store in order to acquire the currency. Hmm. But then they want the people to leave and eventually come back. What's bizarre here is that no one noticed that there were still people inside, when usually they would check for that kind of thing. Well, yes, I, I mean, it's, it's not like we're just keeping them around to experiment and probe them at a random time later. I mean, if you're not going to do that, it just seems pointless. Yeah, no, 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 Kmart doesn't do that. That's Target. Oh, right, right. Okay. Oh, I have to shop there, it sounds like. Mm. Nice place. It's um, delightful. It's... it's, it's, it's you would think, th I thought the baby things you have allowed. 
Okay. Not always. I mean, sometimes they are, and quite annoyingly so. Oh. But sometimes they will sleep because they have to rest before they can start screaming again. Oh. So th their entire point is just to be saving energy in order to scream later. Yes. We have something like that. We call them alarm clocks. We have those too. But... Then why do you have babies? Ah, uh, because they also are a part of our species. They grow up into people, and then they scream about more useless things, like terrible media on the internet, or stupid people in stories. That's or providing ridiculous. to be stupid people for these stories. That's just ridiculous. It's worked for us for the last two, three thousand years, possibly longer, probably longer. Okay, I, I don't... This one... What? Um, a 34-year-old St. Louis man is facing criminal charges after allegedly attempting to use a prosthetic penis to pass a drug test. Sidney Levin was arrested and charged with possession of, for of a forging instrument. Um, Levin, who was convicted in 2009 of theft of and sales of a controlled substance, was submitting a urine sample as part of his probation requirements. A uh, corrections officer caught him attempting to use the Wizenator Touch, a device designed to fool drug tests by creating body temperature synthetic urine and test negative for drugs. Um, the Wizenator Plus. Uh, it retails for about $140 and comes in the colors white, tan, quote, Latino, brown, and black. What do the blue people use? Did they use Smurfs? Oh! Yes, right. Actually, actually makes sense here. Um... All right. Now, this one, I, I don't understand. If someone comes in with more than two penises, it's going to look unusual. Well, you see... Yes? Why is this a pro... What? That can't be... <laughs> what? My... My confusion... is... Not that someone attempted to get around a drug test, nor even that they thought they could smuggle in a fake penis. I'm confused about how this Wizenator Touch is an actual product for sale, considering it is designed to fool drug tests. They seem to enjoy it when we say fake penis. The people... Fine. There are many words in, a, in the English language of our planet that are automatically funny. Penis is one of them. Uh, Regardless of context, just saying that. And adding in other factors, like uh, other adjectives like fake or hard as a rock or pounding. That tends mm. to make it even funnier in their eyes. Another word that is always funny regardless of context is boner. But anyway, my, my confusion here is this Wizenator Touch, shouldn't a device like this already be illegal to sell? Actually, I would think something called the Wizenator, shouldn't that be a hands-free device as opposed to a touch? <laughs> I, uh, I admit to a morbid curiosity about how one operates it and what they put into it to make the fake urine. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, yes, is it, is it like, you know, you have something called the clapper, is it like that, you know? <laughs> what, what, what? I'm just asking. Although I think if you actually heard applause, that would be a little bit difficult in public, you know. Whiz on! Whiz off! The clapper! 
Yes. I think you broke me. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my. All right. Let, let's see. Let's see what else we have. Um. I thought. I thought you liked your offspring. We do. Most of the time. And, and once you have them past a certain age, you tend to keep them. Yes, or, and when they reach another certain age, we get rid of them. Yes, but the, the, does the getting rid of them involve trading them for currency? Oh, dear. Is man charged with trying to sell daughter for bail money? Oh, dear. Uh, according to a press release from Kingsport Police, Sean Wayne Hughes asked his daughter's great-grandmother to loan him money to bond his girl for a debt of jail. When he, she refused, police said Hughes called the grandmother three times and offered to sign over legal custody of his daughter for the $1,500 needed for bail money. We are told police were present during those phone calls and listened to the conversations through speakerphone. Police say they instructed the grandmother to accept the offer that's when they say Hughes set up a time to meet and complete the transaction. Well. Well, to be fair, that's, it's a bit of an exaggerated title. It's less that, that he is trying to sell her and rather that he's trying to sign over custody to her. And quite frankly, if he's willing to try to negotiate that kind of thing... Mm -hmm. to get his girlfriend out of jail, she probably shouldn't be in his custody to begin with. Yes, I... I... <laughs> Most of us love our offspring, and then there are douchebags like this, and I, I, I don't have the stream put up, but please, I, I would want you to zoom in on this gentleman's face right here. All right, um, let's see. Uh, yes, I, I shall big screen it, as it's called. Yes, yes. It, it, People in the chat, please look at this fine, upstanding example of a human being. Yes, people in the chat, you can judge by his expression and especially around his eyes that, uh, yeah, he's probably a high as a kite. People in the channel are saying he's something called a douchebag. Yes. We have many words on our planet to describe individuals like this, douchebag being one of them. Huh. So, yes. All right, I, I'll remember that one. It sounds like it will come in handy all the mm. time. Um, so, it, he wanted to get his girlfriend, which I'm presuming was not the biological contributor to the daughter, mm. out of jail. I would think the daughter would not be happy with this arrangement. I wonder how old the daughter... Did it say how old let's, the daughter is? Let me see. Um, let's see. Um, no, it does not mention how old she is. I would presume she probably was not that old, so she probably didn't have much say in the matter. And again, it's why it's prob... Oh, oh actually, scrolling down on the article, it says that uh, he's charged with illegal payments in connection with placement of a child and drug possession. Mm. So, yes, that, uh, that face he has is pretty accurate. He had five pills on him without a prescription when arrested. He looks rather confused. That's what drugs tend to do to you. Huh. Then again, Why? he was already pretty confused if he was trying to negotiate this kind of thing. Yes, and I think, you know, I think he rather lowballed it, as I understand your, your economics. I, I think, you know, was it someone, was someone said, that, um, yes, a, a white male or a white child can go for much more than that. Oh, she's six. She's six years old. The daughter is six years old. Even better that he does not have custody of her. As for, um, pricing well we try not to assign monetary value to human beings unless you are an ass douche which is even worse than a douchebag i can assure you 
Why, why would you keep the six... What good is a six-year-old? It's just going to pupate in a few months, and then, you know, you just, you'll just have to deal with, the, you know, that. It's a mess. Why would you need that? Our species has a strong desire to hold on to our offspring and maintain connections to them, unless you are aforementioned ass douche. Huh. In which case, any parental responsibility has been suppressed thanks to the what the drugs that you have been shoving down your gullet. Ass douche. Ass douche, yes. Ass douche. Mm. Mm. And finally, um... Um... This is apparently from the place you call Florida. And... Ah, Florida. A magical land. I... I don't... I, I don't understand. I... They, I don't... Oh, my. Homeless woman poops in man's yard, bathes naked in pool. Florida woman tells police she was going to yell at President Obama. Well, that doesn't seem like the proper etiquette at all. <laughs> I, 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 I just... Um, Cheryl Beauchamp, 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 uh, 35, and the charge with burglary and criminal mischief in the incident on Next Road. Um, according to police, the home reported seeing Beauchamp on his home surveillance system walk through his yard, defecate, and cut the screen to the pool area that she then took off her clothes and got into the swimming pool. When the police arrived, she told officers she was taking a bath and she was homeless. She would cut the screen with the rock because the door was locked. Um, Beauchamp continued on saying she wanted to go to jail and she was passing through Palm Bay on her way to Washington, D.C. to yell at President Obama. Well, that, that, I, it, I'm not, it. Choose your words and decide which question you have first. All right, um, is, th th I take it by the fact this is the headline that, that pooping in another human's yard is not considered a, a, a token sign of respect? No, in our culture, defecation on other people's land is considered quite insulting. In fact, one could say inappropriate, in fact. Oh, uh, so only poop on your own land, got it. Exactly, um, yes. And bathing naked in the pool. So, so she simply disrobed and hopped into the swimming pool. Well, that doesn't seem like that doesn't seem like the intended purpose for the thing. No, it does well. If it's your own pool, then yes, go right ahead and jump naked in there, although you might want to have high fences. Our society takes a dim view of public nudity. Yes, it looks like she had quite a bit of it. Also, also, she uh, broke into this other person's yard using a rock, it says, and damaged this fence. That's what charms me about your, your species, the tool using. Come up with such inventive, inventive uses for things. Um, and, and, okay, I, I'm trying to understand, is you going to yell at President Obama? Mm -hmm. um, was, was this part of ritual? Is it required to poop on someone's lawn before you're allowed to speak to the president, or...? There is an assumption in our society that politicians, because they wield so much power, must be responsible for larger problems. And therefore, being homeless, I presume that she was quite upset about her current living situation mm -hmm. and blamed the president for this current situation and therefore was on her way to try to air her grievances. Unfortunately, uh, because she is also homeless, she also seemed to consider that going to jail would be a better place for her to be than out on the streets defecating in people's yards. Huh. So if she got away with it, then, hey, she got a free bath and um. managed to poop somewhere. If she didn't. If she did get, if she didn't get away with it, then she could get arrested, get a hot meal, and a place to sleep. 
Um, apparently the... The pool is supposed to be reserved for... The inside of Congress, from what I'm, I'm reading here. Uh, I would say yes, except for the fact that they actually have an abundance of it already within their... Within their halls, usually coming from a bull. Ah, uh, hmm. Want to get rid of the bull then? Um. Well then, I I am told we are supposed to go over what we learned this week. Um. We learned that your species finds penises hilarious. We reason. do. We we find them absolutely hilarious. I, I don't. I, I'm not. Uh, it's just one of those things that probably doesn't translate from one species to another. And apparently, you won't. Hey, you can sit by a synthetic one that will make synthetic urine. We're just sort of lost on the... This, that, and that quite amazed me, because I did not realize such a thing was exist, or in fact that it was legal to sell such things. Um, we, we, we've learned that, um, you pay tribute to your gods by making effigies of them in mustard and corn and making them sad and then devouring them. I hold my faith in my way and they may hold their faith in theirs. Seems like they have faith more in cholesterol than a deity. Mm. Um... We've, we've learned that, uh, you know, you, you're supposed to let the customers go when you're done with them. That way they can bring more money back. If you keep them, they have no more money. You, you're, it's, you're not going to get more of it. It's, you're kind of locked in there. I suppose they could put them to work in the store. Oh, yes, and, yeah, yes. Uh, putting your people to work. You're going to need to get used to that very soon, I feel sure. Um. I have a spaceship. So do I. Mine's bigger. It's not how big it is, it's how you use it. <laughs> We've learned apparently your species has a fondness for causing panic, disorder, and chaos among the populace. Unintentionally, I doubt it was meant to be any to be malicious in any way. And really, I blame more the people who panicked than, than the people who tried to instigate it. So it's, it's panic for funsies, then, is it? Hmm. Well, then, the next time I, uh, I'm doing a low swoop over and people start running around, I'm going to have to remind them I'm only kidding. Exactly. So that'll, that'll make everything fine. Um, we've learned that um, trying to lowball your offspring is, is probably not a wise negotiating stance to take. Always start high, then go down. You gotta haggle. You just. And, and finally, I think, I think we, that's everything we learned, actually. Um, also, well, we learned that the, that, um... That uh, defecation in other people's yards is not advisable, unless you want a hot meal and a place to sleep. It's just not in their place, in the, the place where they incarcerate you. Hmm. And I learned that I got to speak with Mr. Sinister today. Who? I'll explain later. <laughs>